Relax, relax. I hope you can hear that. Anyway, that's more of my music talents. Um, <laughs> right, my name is Ruku. Um, hope you're watching. Um, just before I start, just want to give a shout out to Dominic, who is a long time subscriber of mine. And to be fair, the guy has always stuck around. All respect to Dominic. Um, hope he's watching this. Big shout out to you, Dominic. If you haven't already fans, viewers, go and subscribe to his channel, Dominic Hull. That's H-U-L-L. -L. Go and subscribe to his channel. Good stuff happening over there. Right, so before I begin, <clears throat> what we're looking at is uh, an Albanian beer. Uh, my last Albanian beer wasn't very good. I'll be honest, it was pretty nasty. Um, this is Korka, or Corsia, however you want to pronounce it. And it's a traditional pilsner, apparently, from 1928. As you say, they're the first Albanian beer. The first Albanian beer. Holy shit, I feel privileged. And Jesus Christ, here we come. Snuck in there, which I can't read, and you're going to need a bloody good telescope um, or microscope to see that it's won two medals. The Grand Prix, there's two of them. Grand Prix for what? I'll never know. Looks like 1988. I, I really don't know. I ain't got a really ain't got a clue. Um, this is a 500 mil and sadly comes in at 4.1. But hopefully, because it is a pilsner, and if they are true to their word at pilsners, we won't be disappointed. Um, I have no idea what this consists of because it's all in Albania. Apart from no natural ingredients: water, 100% barley, malt, hops. Yeah, well, that that's that's helpful. That's virtually covers every beer in the world. Well done, Albania. Um, now, I'm in all. That is a good looking beer. Look at the colour. Well done, Dominic. Thank you for joining me back. I'm glad you can come back. Um, hope you caught the shout out just a minute ago. I did give you a shout out, so if you haven't heard it, when I finished uh, recording this, obviously, go back and listen to it. Um, anyway. What a good looking beer. I mean, it's clear, it's it's golden, it's streaming. All the way up. And then, to be fair, you've got a decent head. It's not bad at all. Um, yeah, it's, it's very striking. Very, very striking. Don't know what I make of the artwork on the can. To me, I'm not being horrible, but if I saw that, I would... Um, I don't think I'd buy it. it. To me, that just says Carlsberg or Export, even you know that sort of silver and green colour. It just it just doesn't doesn't help oh shit. My battery's going low. Um, okay, fans, just give me two seconds. I need to go and charge my phone, so I'm just gonna try and prop you guys up somehow. Right. Using a bit of Tommy K. I'll be back in a minute, fans. I'm just gonna stick my phone on charge for two seconds. I'll be back. This is the problem, fans. We're going live. We're in. We have power. This is the problem with going live. When your battery runs low, you need a good charger to charge your phone. Um, they always say don't work live, I work with kids. Sadly, I'm only working with one. Where was I? So the colour's good, the can doesn't really strike me as anything, so I'm going to crack on with the smell and then hope to God that this is a lot better than the last Albanian beer I had because the last one was just terrible. To be honest with you, I can't really smell anything out of it. It just smells clean and pure. 
nothing really happening with that. That's a bit disappointing. Yeah. Yeah, no smells really. That's the that first ever time I've said that. There's no real smell coming through. No aroma, no nothing. It's just bland, pure crap shit. But hopefully the taste won't be so. So let's crack on. Mmm. Oh, that ain't bad. Two beers come to mind when I've just sampled that. The texture is, if you've ever had it, there's a Cambodian beer out there called Kingdom. It comes from Cambodia. Very, very nice beer as well. I think I did a review on that many years ago. Um, the very the texture of the beer is very, very similar. It's that smooth, crisp, um, malty taste, as it were. And also, it also reminds me of Carlsberg Elephant. Um, which I have a glass now, so I'm proud to say. Um, but what I mean by Carlsberg Elephant is not the, the strength of the beer and it's not that um, flavour, but it's just the back note I'm getting is that Carlsberg Elephant, that sort of nice sort of, I don't know, nice aftertaste is all I can say. The body of the beer is incredibly light, definitely worthy of being called a Pilsner. So congratulations, it is a Pilsner. Um, not dry like the other one, it's very um, moist, um, very flavoursome in a way, in a way that a Pilsner should be. Basic flavours, very light, very easy drinking, uh, light, compact, and the head as well does its job. The head as well is of that um, quick dispersed feeling in the mouth. Oh, Jesus Christ, man, I've got to stop doing that. <coughs> no burp, it's a sign of a good beer. The lacing is pretty boring. There's nothing really that stands out that grabs me. Again, tells me this is a pure-made beer. No artificial nasties, it's all pure. So that, to me, tells me that this is quite a decent beer. And again, on the aftertaste now, I've had time to digest. I'm getting that caramelised malt taste. I don't think there's any caramel in this, but I'm getting that sort of sweet caramel taste, if that makes sense. Incredibly light. Incredibly light. Um, I really can't read Roman uh, Romanian? Albanian, so I don't know why I'm even trying to attempt to read it. What can we get? Apparently, yeah, from what, from what I can detect, that word there means natural. So, yeah, I'm guessing this is a natural beer. Um, it says in English, by a special method of dedication, its specific characteristics, such as alcohol percentage within the standard rate, a nice smell, 100% natural ingredients, and vasicity result in high standards of manufacturing a quality beer. This beer is made of 100% malt. So I was pretty much on the money there. This is 100% natural. Um, just a shame it looks a bit uh, Carlsbergish. FYI fans, because you guys have requested it so much, I will be re-reviewing Carlsberg at some point once I've got all these Polish beers. I've got uh, an English ale coming up soon. I also have an American ale coming up soon. For those of you that are a regular fan, you know that I hate ales. But these two, one I've not tried, um, but the other one from England, I have, and it's one of my all-time favourite ales. It is, of course, Broadside. So if you've not had it, look it up. It's by a company called Adnams, and it's called Broadside. It's very nice indeed. Anyway, moving on. The aftertaste is slight hoppy, uh, caramel, decent carbonation. Still, the carbonation is still there, it just doesn't die down. The head has died down, sadly. And um, again, it just goes to show you that, you know, when it's a pure. Uh, start again, when it's a pure brew, you can kind of almost understand why that the head goes flat because the carbonation just isn't there. I know from experience when brewing your home brew, you, you have to take time dedication, you have to do certain things to keep it that way. 
and I believe that the pure ingredients you use, the better the taste quality. And to be fair, this ain't a bad tasting quality. It's just, to me, it's just dominated by two different flavours, and that is of that malt and that kind of caramel sweet taste, and then you kind of just get a little tiny bitter hop at the end. I'm not saying that it's a bad thing, I quite like it. Oh, man. But I just think it needs a little kick up the arse. Or Fanny, if you're American. I have a lot of our American viewers. They probably think, God damn it, these English, what are they talking about? Um, yeah, I just think it needs a kick up the arse. Um, yeah, a little bit more flavour department. But other than that, it's, it's not a bad beer, I've got to admit. Typical peels, no. Nice, refreshing, it's light. Don't use my finger. I don't know why I've done that, or how I've done that. Yeah, he'll push back. Just needs a little bit more in the flavour department, but overall, a generally nice beer. Um, to be fair, I'm gonna I'm gonna give this uh, I'm gonna give it an eight and a half. I think it's actually quite decent for what it is. And don't forget, Albania is not exactly the the world's best for beer. You know, when they're up against people like the US, <coughs> uh, Lithuania, Poland. Russia, these places will dominate, but this is not bad, it's a mediocre beer, it's something that is mid-range, affordable, and to be fair, not, not bad flavoured, and uh, for a 500ml can, uh, I believe I only paid, well actually, my brother actually did get this for me, um, he only paid a couple of quid for it. And uh, surprisingly, yes, you can get this in the in the UK. Very hard to find. Um, but yeah, he did get it, and it cost him a couple of quid, about one pound twenty eight, something stupid like that, for a can, which is a lot for a five hundred mil. But considering if you try and import beer like I do from all over the world, it gets expensive. So paying one pound twenty eight with no postage, no fees, no transfer fees is fucking cheap. It's a cheap drink. Um. What more can I say? Well worth the try. Um, so yeah, mixed results from Albania. I've had uh, two beers from Albania. One good, one crap. So, the verdict's out there. Tell me what your views and thoughts are about Albanian beer, if you've tried it, or if you're a native to Albania, let me know. And just like Dominic, you too could get a shout-out. So if you are uh, a regular fan, or maybe you're just a passer-by and you want a shout-out, just let me know. And you too could be living the high life. Oh, living the high life, getting a shout out on my channel. As always, I welcome all my subscribers and I love all my subscribers equally. Without you, you, you guys and girls, you know, I wouldn't be doing this. Put it that way. I wouldn't be doing this. My love of beer is strong, but without you fans, viewers, subscribers, uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't be doing it. So, if it, yeah, keep on subscribing and liking and sharing. Don't forget, fans, you can also join me on Facebook at Ruku's Beer. That's R-U-K-U -U and then beer. Uh, I'm on there. I regularly update occasionally. Got lazy lately, but uh, I do update and put stuff on there. Pictures, some videos, etc. Uh, links to my YouTube channel as well. So if you're a non-subscriber, if you belong to Facebook, come and join me. So that about wraps it up for now, fans. Um, two medals. For Albania, for their, their uh, Grand Prix taste, or whatever it is. Not a bad beer. Decent pills now. Although, technically, I've just seen... Hang on, hang on, hang on. Traditional ale pills. This is not an ale. It is a pills now. Sorry. It may, they may do things differently in Albania, but this is this is a pills This is not an ale. Unless I'm drunk too much and I'm looking at traditional wrong. But uh, if my English is correct, that says traditional ale. Anyway, that's enough of that. I'm now going to scoot and uh, enjoy the rest of this. And uh, I'll be back, fans, viewers, with some more beer. Uh, eventually sometime. So, yeah, don't forget, join me, like, comment, and subscribe. So thank you, guys, for joining me this year. Cheers, fans. Oh, 
mate, that's good. Peace out, everyone.